Greetings everyone, especially to my beloved lecturer, Madam Mary Ann Estabella, and not forgetting my fellow friends. My name is Datu Muhammad Rashidi bin Datu Al Rashid from 8110. The purpose of this video is to pick out four scenes and I will be explaining what that scene about. After that, we must relate them to one communication element, principle and theory from any following chapters which is from chapter 3 to chapter 12. I will start first. Okay, the first scene I can identify is the scene in 1 minute and 38 seconds. It shows that two boys who happened to be Michael classmates were bullying him. This particular scene is related to interpersonal power and influence in chapter 12 in terms of bullying. Bullying is an abusive act repeatedly committed by one person or group against another. Types of bullying that were shown in this scene are verbal insults, name calling, negative facial expressions, and sneering. Next, this scene is when Michael saw a book and he tried to read it. Then he remembered the struggle to read in class and how his teacher make fun of him instead of helping him. This scene is related to chapter 3, Perception is Interpersonal Communication, stage 5, which is Recall. Recall is assessing the information you have stored in memory. Next is scene 9 minutes 45 seconds. In this scene, we can see that Bud and Peter is having conversation about their child being dyslexia. From what I see, Beth is grumble about Peter not paying too much, too much attention about the problem. After that, Peter is giving some advice to his wife. We can relate this scene with conversational message from chapter 8 under subtopic of advising. In order to explore option and choice, Peter is advising Pat to be positive in facing the problem and believe that there must be a way to, to help their child. And it's proven that after several ways, Pat finally found a way to overcome it. We can see that conversational message by advising is a process of giving another person a suggestion for thinking or behaving. Sometimes, we need other ways of thinking to be brainstorm and making decisions in our life. Greetings to Madam. Hi, my name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Jemaat. And now I will continue the presentation of the film Michael, scene 3. I am referring to 11.30 minutes to 12.45 minutes which tells that the situation when Pat is Michael's mother who is teaching her son, Michael, who has dyslexia. What can be seen in such a situation is when Pat teach his son by showing happy emotion and makes Michael excited so as to gain knowledge which is conveyed well and quickly. Refer to chapter 7, which is the emotional message in the expression of emotion through various channels, which states that emotions are divided into two, namely through verbal and non-verbal. Okay, from that part, it shows that without altering the slightest verbal, is able to make a situation a good one by showing good emotion and emojis. Um, as an example can be seen when Pat put his hand on his head like this as if to be a monster and make his son laugh while studying. Okay, that's all on my part. Thank you. The scene I'm presenting is at minute 15. In this scene, Mrs. Jones went to a school to make a deal with the principal of the school that she and her husband want their son Mike to enroll in. When the principal read Mike's status report,
he gave Mike a praise for doing fine in his studies. Mr. and Mrs. Jones are unable to finance Mike's school fees if he enrolls in that school. So Mrs. Jones' deal with the principal was for the school to reduce the fees. In return, Mrs. Jones will start a dyslexic department in the school. With her knowledge she obtained after reading so many books on dyslexic, she persuaded the principal. She even showed him a game she invented and used on Mike to help him with his learning. This scene can be related to chapter 12, which is interpersonal power and influence. The power that can be detected in this scene is the power in message. There are two elements in the power in message. First is the verbal message and second is the non-verbal message. Verbal message is where someone uses words to express and exert their power to influence a person. While a non-verbal message is when a person expresses with their action rather than their words. This chapter can be proven to be related to the scene if you look at how Mrs. Jones is trying to persuade the principal to reduce the fees. The elements in the verbal message that Mrs. Jones showed was a direct request to the principal and a bargaining or promising. The direct request was Mrs. Jones directly requested for a school fee reduction from the principal. Bargaining or promising that Mrs. Jones did was by saying that if the school reduced the fees, she would start the dyslexic department in the school to help the other kids with dyslexic. Even without a qualification, she still tries to persuade the principal. This is when the non-verbal message can be seen. She sends a consistent message to the principal on her expertise on dyslexic. Mrs. Jones made the principal try the game that she invented, which was effective to help Mike and will be effective to help the other kids with dyslexic. After playing the game with the principal, it made him smile and convinced by the power that Mrs. Jones exert. This proves that there is also power in the message that we verbally and non-verbally show to others.